Hello dear students, very uh, warm welcome for financial accounting class. This is Professor Deepa Tangankar and in the previous class we have dealt with different problems in terms of financial accounting. In today's class we will be seeing problems on to 15 marks okay, which are regarding single entry conversion of uh, single entry data into double entry system. So in the previous class we have studied uh, balance sheet the pro forma of balance sheet okay I have uh, shown you how to prepare balance sheet this is what we have learnt in the previous class okay so I had told you how to prepare balance sheet and how to prepare trading and profit and loss account all right in today's class we'll be dealing with one of the problem which is in terms of uh, preparing final accounts okay and this problem comes in case of 15 marks so today i'll just be explaining you uh, the question because the question itself will take a long time so let's look into the question mr x furnish furnish the following particulars and request you to prepare final accounts as on 31st 12 2019 so the assets have been given Cash, cash transactions are also been given. So let's look into the assets and liabilities as on 1-1-2019 and 31-12-2019. So this amount what has been given in terms of is in terms of uh, amount that is in terms of money. Okay. So here cash in hand 1000 and the closing balance is 3000. Bills receivable 25000 and 35,000 next debtors debtors is 40,000 and next is 50,000 next stock stock is 70,000 here it is stock 70,000 and next is 75,000 next plant and machinery plant and machinery is how much 40,000 and next is another closing balances another 40,000 Land and building 60,000 and closing balance is also 60,000. Trade creditors 36,000 and 40,000. Bills payable 12, one, sorry 20,000, 25,000. Capital 1 lakh 80 and next is nil closing balances nil. Okay, next. Now Cash, this is regarding assets and liabilities. This information was regarding assets and liabilities. This information is regarding cash transaction. Okay, so cash transactions are receipts and payment. So cash during the transaction during transactions during the year are receipts and payment has been given. Receipts received from debtors 2 lakhs. Receipt from bills receivable 1 lakh. Salary, salary 10,000, this is the payment being done. Salary 10,000, wages 15,000, bills payable 1,20,000, trade creditors 1,40, general expenses 8,000, drawings 5,000. So this is the receipts and this is the payments being done. Next, there is other information being provided that is discount allowed is 2,000. Discount received is 1000. Provision for doubtful debts is at 2%. That is RDD is nothing but 2%. Depreciation on plant and machinery is 10%. You are requested to prepare final account. So what do you prepare? You have got to prepare trading, profit and balance sheet. Okay. Now when we are preparing, this is the information being given in case of single entry. Okay, this information what you have that is this question what has been given is in the form of single entry. See here, Mr. X furnish you the following particulars and request you to prepare final account. So you got this is the uh, information which has been given in case of single entry system. You got to prepare trading profit and loss account that means you got to prepare double entry system. You got to convert this single entry data into double entry system so to convert single entry data into double entry system there are six steps which we have studied in the very uh, previous class not in the last class but prior to those uh, I, I guess around uh, when we was dealing with steps in converting single entry system so there we have studied 
there are six steps in converting single entry data into double entry system. So when you want to convert this data into double entry system, there are six steps to be followed. What is the first step? First is to open a statement of affair. All right. Second is to prepare total debtors account. Third, bills receivable account. Fourth, total creditors account. Fifth, total bills payable account. Next is cash account. So these six steps are to be followed to prepare or to convert the single entry data into double entry system. Now the first step is to prepare the opening statement of affair. Now in this question, if you see, we have the opening data also been given and the closing data also been given. All right. Since we have the opening data been given, we need not prepare the opening statement of affair. So that step will be skipped off. Clear? Next. The second step is to prepare total debtors account. So yes, we need to prepare the second step because you have the opening debtors also and you also have the closing debtors. So we need to prepare the second step that is uh, total debtors account. Apart from this opening and closing, the next that is the second step has to be followed that is in terms of total debtors account. We also need to prepare the third step which is in terms of bills receivable account. We need to prepare total creditors account, we need to prepare total bills payable account. All right. The last step is in, pre, is in terms of preparation of cash account. Now cash account, if you see here, you have the opening account, opening balance of cash. We also have the closing balance of cash. All right. Since the opening and the closing balance of cash is being given, we need not prepare cash account. All right, so that's, that step can be skipped off. When, when I had told you as to, uh, step, when I was teaching in terms of uh, steps to be prepared and steps to be taken in converting single entry data into double entry system, I have explained all those six steps in uh, clearly. I have told you why we prepare opening statement, why we prepare debtors account, why we prepare bills receivable account. I have explained you over there. All right. So if, if you are finding any confusion, you can check into that particular video and then uh, understand what I am telling you in this particular class. All right. So here, uh, since the opening and the closing data of cash has been given, we need, we need not uh, prepare the sixth step. Okay, so how many steps are we skipping? We are skipping. This is nothing but the statement of affairs itself. This information, what is being given is nothing but statement of affairs itself. So first step is completed. Second step we need to prepare that is debtors account. Third receivable. Fourth creditors. Fifth bills payable. That is you need to prepare four accounts. That is debtors, receivable, bills receivable, bills payable and total creditors account plus you also need to prepare trading account profit and loss account and balance sheet clear so let's look into the question we'll just analyze this particular question first one that is cash in hand where will this particular entry come cash in hand one entry will be that is you will just take the closing balance if we are preparing cash account then there would you would take this opening and closing but here since the information is directly been given that is opening and closing balance is directly been given we need not prepare the cash account so this 3000 will directly go to the balance sheet okay next balance sheet to the asset side all right next Bills receivable. Now, bills receivable is how much? 25,000 and 35,000. Now, this is nothing but the opening and the closing bills receivable. If this has been given, where do we take this entry? It comes to the bills receivable account. Okay. Next, opening comes to the debit side, closing goes to the credit side. Next, debtors. Debtors also same. That is opening and closing has been given. So, opening goes to the debit side, closing goes to the credit side. Stock. Now stock, where will you take this particular entry? You will take opening stock. Opening stock, where will this come? Trading account. Okay. Debit side of trading account, credit side of trading account. That is closing stock. This is opening stock. This is closing stock. Next, plant and machinery. Now plant and machinery, where will you take? 
this will come in case of uh, ba balance sheet so stock opening and closing where will you take this opening stock trading and close trading account will be the opening stock and closing stock again in the trading account plant and machinery this will go to the that is only the live uh, closing amount you will be taking and where will you take it it directly goes to the balance sheet okay from which you will have to deduct the depreciation which is given at the end see plant and machinery has to be depreciated at 10 percent so depreciation is being given for plant and machinery so the entry one entry of depreciation comes to the profit and loss account another entry to the balance sheet under the head plant and machinery minus 10 percent depreciation on 40,000 which goes to 4,000 okay next land and building again the closing amount you'll be taking to the balance sheet wherein there is no depreciation being given for land and building so directly you will be writing the amount of 60,000 in the balance sheet trade creditors now trade creditors again opening and closing is being given so the entry will be one to the uh, entry will be directly into the traders account trade creditors account total creditors account which we prepare okay next bills payable again opening and closing has been given so this will be again to the uh, bills payable account opening balance and closing balance okay next capital where will you take this capital you will directly take it to the balance sheet under the head liabilities wherein you will first write the capital and from that if there are any drawings and all then that will be deducted you will take the net profit from profit and loss account add capital add a net profit minus drawings drawings are there here see this is drawings 5000 so that amount will be deducted that is capital of 180 plus net profit whatever is the amount of net profit from profit and loss account minus drawings which is 5000 all right next cash trades and transactions during the year so what are the cash transactions receipts receipts from debtors okay now receipts from debtors where will you take this amount is how much 2 lakhs we have seen five marks problems when we have solved receipt from debtors goes to the debtors account okay receipts from bills receivable this goes to receipts from bills receivable goes to bills receivable account payment okay now these are the payments to be made that is salary wages this is nothing but the expenses and where will these expenses go they are nothing but payments okay so these are nothing but expenses and where will these entries go it goes to the profit and loss account now there is a small uh, tricky thing over here one thing that is bills payable account okay now see here the salary goes to profit and loss account wages goes to trading account okay next bills payable now bills payable where will this come only this will come in case of bills payable account okay this goes to the bills payable account now if you see in terms of uh, see you have two entries here you have one here that is assets and liabilities in this assets and liabilities that is given 25,000 and 35,000 this goes to the balance sheet these amount that is bills receivable account 35,000 and bills payable account 25,000 20 and 25,000 so they will go to the balance sheet see here assets and liabilities bills receivable 35,000 you will directly take the closing amount and bills payable 25,000 this goes to the balance sheet but here you have another bills payable which is 1,20,000 which comes in case of payment now this will not come in case of balance sheet why it will not come in case of balance sheet because it is paid against bills okay this is a payment okay paid against bills okay so this will not come in case of balance sheet but it will come in case of cash and bills payable account so this entry of 1,20,000 will go to the bills receivable account okay next creditors total creditors 140 now if you see here you also have creditors over here um, no uh, you have total creditors being given here that is 140 now this 140 
you will not take it in case of balance sheet okay it will be same like bills payable you will take it in case, since it is creditors uh, i mean you have given credit so these creditors this entry will be one entry will be in case of cash account and one entry will be in case of total creditors account okay but we are not preparing cash account because we have the opening and closing balance of cash been given so only the entry will be in bills payable account and trade creditors account in case of bills payable 1 lakh 20 goes to bills payable account trade creditors 1 lakh 40 goes to trade creditors account okay it will not come in case of balance sheet all right next general expenses now general expenses where will you take this it goes to profit and loss account drawings where will you take drawings goes to balance sheet why because i have told you in the previous uh, just few minutes back that is 1 lakh 80 is the capital from capital you add, add the profit and loss account net profit what you get now balance of profit and loss account that is to be added in capital and minus this amount of drawing okay next there is other information being given that is discount allowed where will you take this discount allowed you will go you will take it in case of balance sheet oh, sorry debtors account okay that is total debtors account and it will also come in case of profit and loss account total debtor this this information is in case of other information so two effect okay one effect will be in case of debtors account another effect has to come in case of profit and loss account all right next discount received now where will this entry come discount received is nothing but an income which comes to which comes to profit and loss uh, loss account to the receipt side and another entry that is bills receivable it comes in case of bills receivable account discount received is an income so it will come to profit and loss account receipt side and another entry will be to the uh, bills receivable account all right provision for doubtful debts this is nothing but rdd where will this come one entry will be to the profit and loss account okay and another entry will that is uh, another entry comes in case of um, one entry will be in terms of one entry will be profit and loss account that is under the head uh, i mean you will write it as rdd and from debtors you will minus two percent and another entry will be in balance sheet that is under the head debtors to the debit side you will write debtors na so uh, from that debtors you will minus 2% okay depreciation on plant and machinery which I have already explained that is you will take the amount of plant and machinery of 40,000 in the asset side of uh, balance sheet then from that you will minus plant and machinery that is depreciation at 10% you will get 4,000 that 4,000 entry another entry will be second effect will be in profit and loss account to the debit side because depreciation is a non-fund expense all right so the second effect will be to the debit side all right I hope you have understood the question in the pre next class we will have the posting being done because in today's class if I post all the information I mean if we prepare the accounts it is going to be a little difficult uh, time consumption will be more so i'll just end up with the class over here i hope you have understood the question clearly if any doubt you can ask us all right thank you so much